Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So we had a question come up in one of my videos, which was uh, how do I make clips or 3D printable clips on my box? So let's say we have a box. We're gonna go ahead and draw like a 200 millimeter by 100 millimeter. And the reason I'm doing millimeters instead of inches is because when you're 3D printing, your nozzle is typically 0.4 millimeters, right? So we wanna do in millimeters because because of the metric slicers, basically. So we have this here and we go out by, let's say 200 millimeters, just, or let's do 100. So we have like a rectangular box. And typically if you want this actual size, you have to make the lid smaller. So right, let's say, let's make this 80 instead of 100. And then before we make the lid, let's shell this. So shell, so we have this box, let's do 3.2 which is eight passes of the nozzle, which is a pretty thick perimeter, but for this size of box, I think this is pretty good. And then sometimes instead of infill, uh, you might want all perimeters to make it stronger, or if you wanted to just two perimeters on the outside and then infill on the inside, this is gonna be fine for four wall thickness in a sense. So let's say we have that, and to save a little bit of time, we can just tools extrude this by 20 millimeters. Again, depending on your needs, we make sure that's a new body click done and then instead of doing a lot of sketches and we we could technically if we just want the lid to be pretty thick we could just extrude this out all the way out there by pulling that arrow or we can go to tools offset and then go down here make sure it's a single instead of the loop and we can do let's say 3.2 because when it's printed flat it's going to be pretty strong already so we can get away with that in 3d printing and then we have this make sure it's a, a new body or union so in this case, we can do both. So union makes it all together. And then once you have that lid, you can see it made it as, as we intended. So let's go back and uh, per clips, let's say, let's go here in the middle and we want to draw a rectangle. Uh, we could have done that in the beginning as well. Instead of drawing all four sides here like this, we could have just used the rectangle. So let's go from uh, center in this case, go from here and to here. Let's do a 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter clip. And let's say we do ex an extrude as a new body for now. Let's do 10 millimeters. Actually, let's do six, because 10 seems like too much. All right, so uh, I forgot to make that as a new body. So six millimeters as a new body, because we want to work on it first, right? So um, basically for this type of design, unless you have hinges back here, you will need to have the clip on at least two sides to hold it in place, right? So in this specific case, what we need to do is have a clip on the inside, let's say something like this. And we can make a hole here technically, so six millimeters that way. And then uh, we need to hide this little object to get it out of our way. So we can now extrude this out of the main body and we basically, let's do two sides first, make it like a round sort of thing to hold it in place. So let's say we unhide our body and now we have a clip, right? But the problem that arises is that when your clip is too short, imagine the amount of flex that your lid would need to get onto that clip, right? This is kind of an impossible feat without actually breaking the part. So what you really need to do is depending on your box is you need to extend it. So for example, if we go slightly down, I guess almost all the way down, uh, move it over by six just to make it exactly how we want it. What we need to do is extend this clip so that it has enough flex to actually be able to kind of go over the top of the clip as it clips on instead of breaking uh, the clip from the lid. So basically what we need to do is you take these edges and you don't need the sides because it's going to move either way. What you can do is use the move tool and go down by 40 millimeters, just like we did with the little clip part. Okay, so now, technically speaking, if you have this lid and this clip, it'll be able to flex enough to actually go on there. And what we could do to help with that is to soften this edge. So for example, we fill at this edge, let's say by five in this case. That way, when it's going over here, it's going to go in that soft edge and go around it as it clips on. And because it's long enough, it's going to have enough flex to actually be able to clip on and go over 
that and hold it in place. So it has to be small, you know, or rather uh, short enough to be able to keep the strength up without f failing. And it has to be long enough to flex over that part. So this is just the main concern when you have clips in general is that you have to make sure it's the right size because you have it too long, it's gonna be too weak. You have it too short, it's gonna be too stiff. So that's something to keep in mind. And then once you decide on your design, it's a simple method of basically selecting these two parts and then uh, either using the copy tool, uh, basically by going like this and then doing that, or you can simply mirror these parts over. So for example, in this case, I don't have this exactly in the middle, so we can either move this to the middle. So in this case, let's say it's uh, it's 3 point, not 3.2 obviously, but uh, this line here is 100 millimeters, right? So we have to move this part 50 millimeters to meet in the middle, so we can mirror this part, or we can simply go here and draw a line directly in the center of our part, and then go ahead and use that as the mirror plane and then double click these parts so and then go more and mirror and use this part right here instead of the axis so now we have it on both sides and then once you're happy with whatever you want you can go ahead and tools union these parts back up here and again this is just an example of what you can do this is not the perfect way or the best way this is just to make sure that you understand that if you want to have a clip on your 3D printed part, you have to make sure that your parts are the correct length uh, and strength ratio to be able to actually clip onto the part. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will probably be making a full project video of how I design a box and 3D print it uh, from start to finish for you guys, just so you can learn the basics to, to the utmost degree so that you can have success in your project. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know, uh, and I'll reach out to those when I can. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at J Lake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.